Welcome to Mountain Cooking with Missy. Today I am making good old ham and beans and some low carb salmon patties. Stay tuned. Hey y'all, so I wanted to get started showing y'all how I make um, just good old ham and beans, which is basically where I'm from, we call beans, uh, pinto bean soup beans. But I like to mix my beans, and these are going to be, um, I did two pounds, a pound each of pintos and great northern beans. I like to mix mine, but you can use whatever beans you like. If you want to use all pintos or northerns, um, some people even use navy, but I like to mix mine and I think it, they just turn out better. So that's a pound each of pinto beans and great northern beans. And this is going, I'm gonna go ahead and put this in here. This is a ham bone, smoked ham bone from Christmas. So I'm just gonna put that in my crock pot. You can cook this on a stove if you wanted, um, but I prefer just fixing my beans mostly in the crock pot. Every now and then I'm I may fix them on the stove. But I like to put a half of a large onion. And I like the flavor of the onion. And we just fish it out. I'll eat the onion. But I don't put bits of onion in my beans. Because my daughter doesn't like uh, the onions in them. And just pour the beans in. Start putting your water in. And I'm gonna add a little more. So I got all my water in and I just filled it up there to the top where it needs to be. And I'm not gonna add any salt to these beans because there's salt in the ham. And so there's no need really to add any more salt. I'm adding a little extra bacon grease cause this is just some bacon grease that I had left that I always keep my bacon grease, but I had a little left. So what I had left, I'm gonna go ahead and throw that in there for a little extra flavor. And we'll do some pepper, some black pepper. And I'm gonna put it on, I set mine on high. And I'm just going to let this cook overnight on high. And then in the morning, I'll just get up and put it on simmer and let it simmer until supper time. And I will come back and show y'all what they look like. But this is simple ham and beans. No fuss. But if you don't have ham, you can use ham hocks. You can use fresh. You can use ham. Um you you can use any kind of ham you can use ham hocks you can use uh, any kind of pork flavor salt meat uh, fat back any kind of flavor but to me this smoked ham ho uh, ham bone these are just gonna be delicious can't wait for you all to see them guys so we'll be back Okay, so they've been cooking all night on high, and I took, I fished out the bone, so now you see there the chunks of ham is in them, and I fished out the onion, and I'm just going to let them stay on low the rest of the day until we get ready to uh, make supper. going to have some cornbread and some salmon patties and and some greens, yummy. All right guys, I'm gonna show y'all how to do low carb salmon patties. This is a can of pink salmon that I've already, I didn't drain it, I've already flaked it with my fork and I put an egg in there and just gonna beat that up a little bit. And I like to, um, this has no flour or meal in it or anything, so, 
This is minced onion, and you want to do probably about a tablespoon. Some Parmesan cheese. And that's probably about a half a cup. And you're going to do a um, little bit of parsley. A little salt. And a little black pepper. And that's probably about a couple tablespoons of almond flour. So I'm just going to stir that up. I'm just giving that a stir. You want to stir in. You can add in some dill if you want it. I don't have any dill where I would. But uh, just want to stir it up to where it's all mixed. All mixed together. And I am, I am going to add just a little more almond flour. So that's probably, I probably ended up adding about three tablespoons of almond flour to it. Okay, you mix it enough to where, see, it'll be able to hold together. Now I'm going to patty them out. We come back, we'll fry them. Skillet hot, and it is ready. So I'm going to fry these in some light olive oil. And all light olive oil is, it's just been refined a little to where it's not very strong. And my skillet was pretty hot. So I've already got my patties ready and I peppered them a little more on the top. So we're gonna put them Put them in the grease. And these are going to fry just like normal salmon patties. If you want them crispy. And you want them done all the way through to where they're not mushy. So I'm going to fry these up. I'm going to let them fry on one side there probably for about four to five minutes. And they're going to get browned and I'm going to flip them. I've already flipped them. So let me say where these have no flour in them. No wheat flour in them. They have uh, almond flour. These are more apt to fall apart. So when you flip them, you got to be careful. I use this wide... A spatula that way it gets right under them and as you can see the oil is already starting to be absorbed so I'm not going to add any more oil don't really need it but I'm going to let them they'll need to fry uh, probably another four to five minutes like this and I may try to flip them one more time because we like ours really brown and crispy but uh, these are actually very good guys they're just they're a little more out to fall apart 
than a normal salmon patty, but they are really good and a little better for you when you can leave the flour out. Look at that. Mm -hmm. They get really good and crispy too. Mmm, can't wait to eat them. All right, Daddy's going to tear into these salmon. low carb salmon Sa patties. Salmon patty. Salmon. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, where we're from, we call them salmon. So very. Yeah, he likes his. <laughs> he likes to dip his in mustard. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Actually, I do too. I think they're good in mustard, but. Mm -hmm. To be low carb, they're really good, I think. I mean, they're a great alternative to the regular salmon patties. I love salmon patties. <laughs> and Daddy approves, so that's all that matters. I do. Mm. Mm. They are very good. Crispy. So, we'll be making them again for Daddy. Oh, yeah. Thank you. You're welcome, babe. Mm. There's the ham and beans is done, and Mama done made Daddy some good cornbread. old crusty cornbread to go with yeah. it. There's a video up of that if you go and scroll down. That's not Jiffy Mix either. That's cornbread. Yeah, cornbread. <laughs> Daddy got him some hunks of ham in there. Onion. Eating him an onion with it. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> Dad called them court nap. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Roger's daddy used to call them court apples. So there you go, guys. My version of ham and beans. Mm. Good old cornbread. I do stuff. have recipe for that cornbread under my photo albums, under uh, recipes. That cornbread, take and put butter on it. Mm hmm. Yeah, just butter and cornbread. My daddy crumbles that up in buttermilk. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or milk, sweet milk. So there you go, guys. Uh, Good old ham and beans. Stripping out of my beard. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy's pleased. Very much. There y'all go. Mm -mm -mm. Thank you for watching Mountain Cooking with Missy. We're nothing fancy. Just good eating. Just good eating. <laughs>